Hey everyone, welcome back to another recap podcast from SNX Weave, where we give quick weekly recaps of news and important updates from the previous week from the Spartan Council, Core Contributors, and Ambassador Council. Let's get started. The Spartan Council had a discussion last week regarding the current SUSD peg on optimism, with Gene raising concerns around the fact that it has dropped as low as 97 cents recently. Caleb proposed a potential solution that would change the SNX buyback and burn to SUSD buyback and burn instead. This would effectively reduce the supply of SUSD, which would push the price back towards $1. It's estimated that $6 to $10 million would be required in SUSD buyback and burn to accomplish this. Another possible solution would be to introduce a native interest rate on SUSD once the migration to V3 happens. More to come here. And speaking of the V3 migration, a blog post was recently released that goes over some of the details for this pivotal phase of the V3 rollout. Here are the highlights. Accelerating real yield. V3 is shifting away from incentivization through inflationary minting participation and is focusing on first, generating yield from trading fees and distributing to LPs, and second, introducing a buyback and burn mechanism to remove SNX from circulation using fee revenues. Expanding SUSD collateralization. With V3, SUSD will be backed by a range of collateral assets, rather than the V2X system where SUSD was only collateralized against the native SNX token. These additional assets include ETH, USDC, yield generating collateral, Stata USDC, and other governance approved tokens. This expansion of collateral options will contribute to the scalability of the SUSD stablecoin in V3, facilitating the V3 migration. Some supporting measures for the V3 migration will begin this week. First, increased OP incentives for SUSD liquidity on Velodrome on Optimism. Incentives will be increased to 10,000 OP tokens per week. And second, SNX incentives for SUSD liquidity on Curve on Ethereum mainnet. Synthetics will introduce 20,000 SNX tokens per week in incentives for LPs in the SUSD, USDC, DAI, USDT pool on Ethereum mainnet. Migration plan and mechanics. The migration will begin in June and will proceed in two phases. The first is the Ethereum mainnet migration which will allow SNX stakers to migrate their positions to V3. The second is the Optimism migration. After the Ethereum mainnet migration, Synthetix V3 will be deployed to Optimism, and the migration process will extend to Optimism SNX stakers. The V3 migration will further push Synthetix in the direction of building a robust, decentralized ecosystem of derivative protocols on Synthetix liquidity and infrastructure, while enabling builders, traders, and liquidity providers to scale on-chain derivatives. There was also a SIP presentation last week, SIP 383, to add multi-collateral margin support to Perps V3, which was presented by Caleb. He explained that rather than only having SUSDC available as trading margin, users would be able to deposit wrapped ETH or BTC and receive SNX ETH and SNX BTC to use as margin for trading. In addition to a feature upgrade that improves user experience, this addition will allow for the opening of delta neutral positions for traders interested in farming the funding rate. The introduction of new margin collateral types does add a step for LPs during liquidations, however. Currently, since the LP collateral and trading margin are both SUSDC, LPs receive a portion of the SUSDC margin as their reward when liquidations occur, which can then be added to their LP position. Since SNX ETH and SNX BTC won't be supported LP collateral, LPs will be responsible for unwrapping those liquidation rewards. This approach was decided on in favor of swapping the collateral at liquidation prior to distributing the rewards because of the risk involved. Specifically, the fact that systematic token swaps would introduce the possibility of sandwich attacks. Since the value of these additional margin collaterals is not constant, as is the case with stablecoins, a discount rate will be applied that will limit the amount of the deposit that may be used as trading collateral. 
This discount rate will be set based on the expected price impact to LPs, who would have to unwrap and sell their non-SUSDC staking rewards. There are a number of governance configurable variables that would enable the Spartan Council to limit LP risk as well. The introduction of non-stable coin margin also introduces the possibility of liquidation without any open positions if the value of that margin drops significantly. Next, Synthetix announced the launch of an SNX incentive program for perps trading on base, which is starting today, May 22nd. For details, check out the article linked in our blog. But in short, the Synthetix treasury will be allocating up to 500,000 SNX for fee rebates on perps markets, paying 90% of trading fees up to the 50,000 SNX weekly cap. The first rewards epic will run until May 28th, with the initial distribution of SNX rewards calculated based on this epic and distributed within 24 to 48 hours after May 28th. The current incentive budget allows for a minimum of 10 full weeks of 90% rebated fees. And the goal of this program is to onboard new traders, generate fees, and attract new liquidity providers to support trading Synthetix Perps V3 on base. Lastly, in ambassador updates, the team has been onboarding their newest council member, Danny. They've been going over new duties with him, while also discussing future Spartan spaces and the next Optimism retroactive funding round. The council has been reaching out to all of the Synthetix ecosystem protocols, as well as communicating with season five OP grant applicants to gather feedback. And that's it for today's updates. Be sure to check out our weekly recap blog post, share this podcast link, and let us know what you think and what you'd like to hear more about from SNX Weave. Thanks for listening.